Any video with the word poltergeist in its title always causes genuine interest of the viewer. However, first and foremost interesting thing is trying to understand, is this video real or fake? Looking for similar videos on the internet, I ask myself this question every day and in most cases, in the end, I understand. Yes, it's a fake. But sometimes I find the videos where it's hard to figure out right away if it's real. And today I'm gonna show you 5 of these videos. Number 5. Something's wrong at home. This video was published in August 2017. A person on a tape looks scared and he has his reasons. He says that there is poltergeist in his house. I was sleeping on my couch and I heard a loud bang. I've heard it before, but I didn't know what it was. I just thought it was the dogs on the deck or something. But I think if I sit and wait, you'll see I just seen it. what it is. Usual fake poltergeist videos have different objects flying all over the place. Forks, cups, knives, tables and chairs move. However, this case is different. There it is. It's my cupboards. Let's see. Holy shit, for sake. I'm just gonna sit here and videotape for a minute. See what happens. Holy shit. Holy shit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh! Holy shit. Let's see what this looks like. I don't want to go too close to it. This is creepy. I have no idea. Like, there's nobody in my house right now. Like, nobody. I can hear something in that room. <sighs> okay. That's fucking weird. What is that? Somebody's in that room. Ah, whoa, okay. Hey, those goosebumps. During the entire video, I was asking myself, if he is so scared, why didn't he just leave? And later, when he decided to leave the house, I thought that perhaps this recording was real. What do you think? I'm going outside. <sighs> Number 4. Seems I'm not alone here. In the video, we see the security guard who watches the monitors from the cameras. Any big mall has similar cameras. Seems like nothing strange can happen, right? But at some point, the chair begins to move in a strange way and it moves towards the guard. At first, he didn't even notice that, but then the chair sharply moves forwards and it's impossible not to notice that. The guard doesn't understand what it was. He looks at the security camera installed in this room to make sure it's recording for later evidence. It's hard to imagine what this man is thinking about right now. Did my ass play a trick on me? Or is happening for real? Perhaps he decided not to risk. He picks the chair up, puts it in its place and then even puts a stand in front of it and quickly leaves the room. At first I thought that someone was just pulling a chair by a string or something, but then I realized that if there was a thread, we would have seen it when he lifted a chair. So it's up to you to decide whether it's a true or not. Number 3. Performance didn't finish yet. We all know who mediums are. However, to be honest, I never saw any proof that these people can actually communicate with the spirit world. Although there is one interesting case that happened in July 2014 in Brookside Theatre in Romford, Essex. This recording was made at 4 am by CCTV camera. At night there was a medium Roy Roberts performance. Pay attention to the chair that moves by itself. 
When this recording was shown to Roy Roberts, he said, When I saw the footage, I jumped up and said, Yes, now we have direct proof. I had a feeling earlier that there was a presence of something, a playful presence of a child, to one side of the room, and it seems that must have been it. Theater director Mr. Seppel said that the only reason we checked the CCTV was because we came in on Sunday morning and the chair was out of line. One of the last things I do when I close up is line up all the chairs, so I knew something had happened, it had clearly moved. The building where the theater is located is a former Second World War memorial, and in the two years since it was converted into a theater, it's had plenty of unexplained events. We've had a child's footprints in a foyer, and one cast member said he saw a strange figure once. He ran after it thinking it was a person, but the figure just disappeared and there was nowhere for it to go. He was visibly shaken after that. I don't know if it's true or not, but I believe you agree with me that it is an interesting case. What do you think about it? Number 2. Not Wrecking Work This is another video from the mall, and it was filmed in 2014. There isn't much information about it, but it's believed that Poltergeist was caught in action. One of the store employees rushed out from the beach accessories department and told his colleagues that something strange was happening there. Together they decided to check the recordings from the security cameras. Employee is going about his regular business. At some point he hears that in the other parts of this department the items fall off the shelf. He looks around, sees that there is no one in a store, and continues to work. At this point, the items lying at his feet start slowly moving across the floor, but he doesn't notice it. However, he hears again some items fall on the floor. It's not visible on the video, neither you can hear it, but that's why he looks around so often. Perhaps at that moment he already realized that something weird was happening, but he continued working. But when items started falling down right next to him, he couldn't stand it anymore. What would you do? Number 1. Who are you talking to? There are many known cases when kids tell their parents about their imaginary friends and after that weird things start happening. There were strange sounds, more like someone's voice, or strange things began to happen with the kids' toys. They suddenly appeared not where they were left, or disappeared. Look at this video. This girl has an imaginary friend. She often talks to him, puzzling her parents and older brother. That's why he installed a video camera to record their conversation, but at the same time he managed to record something else. The description to this video says, I was recording my sister to see what she would do when I walked away, and I figured her to touch my foot. She did, and just before that, she talks to someone, but there was nobody there. Watch Fork. It is clearly seen that at the moment when the fork moves, the girl tells someone, that's Billy's dinner. Maybe she sees someone we can't see. Let me know what you think down in the comments.